It's waiting for Facebook to come on. There it is. Facebook is on. Everybody live is on. As y'all come in, we start this live later today, as I told y'all. I sent the I posted in my story that I was gonna start the live a little bit later today because Alright, first of all, we're making sure this is actually live. Before we start. Our Instagram says it is telling my followers to join my video. So as soon as some followers start joining the video, I know this actually is live, and I know I'm talking to at least one person, and I'm going to get started. All right, there we go. Hope everybody's had a great, is it Thursday? Tuesday? Thursday? Wednesday? I don't know what day it is. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Hope everybody's had a great Thursday. Stay in focus. It like it might be a little bit of rain in Miami coming soon, so we're going to get through this live so I can get outside, get some fresh air, and get back in the house before the rain starts. We gonna need some cooling off. Hope everybody's had a great day thus far. We started this one a little bit later today. I was in the middle of a call, but it's done. And the message I'm gonna share with you all today is how you can measure the size of your mind. I don't mean physically like measuring the size of your brain, but I mean measuring the capacity you have to grow, develop, and just see where you're at right now. So for those of you all know me, my name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre all day, former nine-year professional athlete, author. 27 books. I should reverse those. Author 27 books. Former nine year professional athlete. I've done four TED Talks. I've created this whole philosophy called Working the Game. It's all about taking the pro athlete mindset and teaching you how to apply it to your business, your sport, and your life. And today I'm going to tell you three things. And then I'm going to explain each one of these three. I'm going to tell you one, then explain it, then the other, then the other. All right, you want to figure out what size of person you are right now. You want to figure out what level you're at, where you're headed, type of individual you are. Here's how you check it. And this is a, a saying that came from. I'll tell you where the saying came from later on. Actually, I'll tell you up front. It came from the woman by the name of Eleanor Roosevelt. Her husband was the president. I don't know if her husband was Theodore Roosevelt or Franklin Roosevelt. I don't even know which one, but I know it was Eleanor Roosevelt. Whichever one she was, she was wife to. It wasn't both of them. It was one of them. Anyway, she said, small minds discuss people. Average minds discuss events and great minds discuss ideas. So if you want to Look at yourself right now and ask yourself where you're at, where you're going, what level you are at in life right now. Just look at what you talk about. Look at what you think about. Look where you're spending your energy. Look where you're spending your time. Look where your focus is at. Are you focusing on what other people are doing? Are you talking about other people? Whether it be gossiping about other people, whether it be talking about something good that somebody else did, whether it's just looking at what other people have going on. Are you focused more on that? Because if you are focused on that, that's what small-minded people do. They focus on other people. And I tell you all this all the time. One of the keys to focus, keys to getting more things done and productivity is to pay less attention to what everybody else is doing. I've said this many, many times before. I will say it all over. I will say it many, many times again. Second thing, when we talk about average minds, they discuss events. Average minds talk about what's happening, what somebody did. What's going on over there? What these people are doing over there? Right now, in our world right now, there's a whole lot of events going on, right? We got people are protesting. You got a little bit of people rioting. You got a presidential election that's coming up, and that's going to be crazy. So you would be talking about people. you would be talking about that event. Average-minded individuals talk about events. All right? This is what most people do. They talk about the things that are happening. This person did this. This person is doing this. This thing is going on over here. You got the NBA maybe coming back. You got all these sports leagues trying to play, and people are getting COVID-19, and they're talking about that. And it's news, right? If you get on social media, you're going to see a whole lot of news. You get on Instagram, you're seeing people news. All right? If you want to talk about people and follow people and see what... Every person is doing, all you got to do is go on Instagram and just go through the feed. Most of what you see is going to be something talking about a person. It's usually a person talking about themselves, right? Then, if you want to know what's going on events-wise, all you got to do is go on Facebook and you can hear a whole bunch of people talking about events. Or you get on Twitter and you just get a whole bunch of news about events. That's all Twitter is. It's pretty much a news station, right? Where you get everybody's, every event that's going on. Maybe you get on YouTube, you get a combination of people and you get events if, when you get on something like YouTube where you go on the news or the news. It ain't really news anymore because now they just make up stuff. As Drake said in his song, if they don't have a story, they will make one. So all the news does nowadays is make stories. They take things that did actually happen about a person. Or how much time does a news spend talking about Donald Trump? Every day the news is talking about Trump. Whether they're talking good about him or talking bad about him, they're just talking about him. They're talking about a person. 
Small-minded people talk about people. The news will make you a small-minded individual because it, it trains you to talk about people and it trains you to talk about events. That's all the news gives you. It tells you what's going on, an event, and it talks about individuals. And a lot of it is biased based on what side the news is on. They're either on the, the left side or the right side. Y'all know this if y'all watch the news. And any of you think that what you're watching on news is objective, that's because you are on the left side or the right side. So you think what you're getting is objective. It absolutely is not. I already talked about that, why you need to stop paying attention to the news. So those platforms, all these platforms that we got out here, these, all these apps that you got on our phone. Well, I'm going to look at my phone right now. Let's see. When I get on Twitter, I'm getting news, quote unquote news, about events and people. Facebook, that's people and events. LinkedIn is going to be, there's a lot of people stuff on there and there's a good amount of event stuff on there. Uh, YouTube, you're going to get a hybrid of some things. Twitter, another hybrid. TikTok is mostly entertainment, so we're not, we're not going to put TikTok in this box. We're not going to, we're not going to hold them, hold them to the, to the, to the fires right now. ESPN, what's ESPN about? Events. ESPN is about sports. Sports are a good thing. I'm not mad at sports. I played sports. I benefited from sports. I'm not mad at sports, but sports is an event. Average-minded people will talk about events. I mean, when a great big sports game happens, the next day you go to work or the next day you talk to your friends, what are y'all doing? Y'all talking about the event that happened last night. Average minds discuss events. I'm not telling you that you're wrong to discuss an event, but when, when you are discussing an event, that's what average mind individuals do. Let me tell you what great-minded people do. People with great minds, people who are growing, progressing, moving the culture forward, moving everybody forward, they discuss ideas. Great minds discuss ideas. They are looking for new ways of doing things, new ways of thinking, new ways of creating, new ways of putting value out into the world, new ways of making themselves better, new ways of making other people better, new ways of just making things better. Great minded individuals are always looking for, discussing, and coming up with new ideas. People ask me, Dre, how do you come up with a new live stream topic when you do these live streams? Most of the time, these are just coming off the top of my head. But how do I come up with that? How do I get the skill to just come up with these topics? Somebody asked, Dre, how did you put out a YouTube video every day? Even back in the basketball days, I was doing it. I still do it now. People say, Dre, how do you come up with content or ideas for writing all these books? Or when you do your TED Talks? Or you got a, a master class podcast that comes out every single day, 1,500 days in a row. How can you come up with a new topic 1,500 days in a row? It is because I have trained my mind to focus on ideas. I do not focus on events. I do not focus on other people. I don't pay any attention to what any other person is doing unless that person happens to be talking to me and interrupts me from what I would be doing. So now I'm paying a little bit of attention to them and hopefully I'm sourcing that person trying to get an idea for something that I could talk about in the future. So even when I do talk to a person, even if the person is an idiot and doesn't know what they're talking about, some of their idiocy I will use as an idea for me to create future things because great-minded people are always thinking about ideas. And look around at the world. Look at the people who are known as the great thinkers of this world. Uh, Elon Musk. Can we agree that this guy has some great ideas in his mind? Now, whether you agree with him or not, or you think he's a good guy or an idiot, we can all agree that the guy has some great ideas. Uh, he, he is an idea guy. He's coming up with new ideas every single day. I think we can all agree to that, even if you don't like him. Bill Gates. Is that guy a person who always has some new ideas? I would think so. Steve Jobs. He passed away 10 years ago. Can we agree that Steve Jobs is a person who always had some new ideas? Albert Einstein, uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, Thomas Edison. These people had great ideas. Again, whether you personally like them or not is not the question. Though, did these people have great ideas? They absolutely did. People who move the culture forward, they move life forward, they move themselves forward, and people who follow them, they move forward, they're inspired to move forward, are people who always have new ideas. Small-minded people are always talking about other people. Average-minded people are talking about events. That's where you'll find 80% of people. Then you got 10% who talk about ideas, 10% who are always talking about people. Actually, it's probably about 30% who talk about people. Then we'll say about then we'll say about 65% talk about events. Then you got about 5% who talk about ideas. So you got to ask yourself. Again, this is from Eleanor Roosevelt. Ask yourself, which one are you? Where's your focus at on a day-to-day -day basis? Over the course of a day, are you focused on other people? Are you focused on events that are taking place? Are you focused on what's some new ideas? Can, are you coming up with new ideas? I got, this, uh, I got the concept from a guy named James Altucher. He has his own podcast by, that's named after him. It's called The James Altucher Show. He's also a writer. He writes some really good uh, articles all the time. So y'all should look him up. Look up James Altucher. Uh, Jewish white guy with curly hair. Funny looking dude. He calls himself funny looking. That's not my personal assessment of him. But he calls himself that. But he's a hell of a writer. And James Altucher 
introduced me to this concept of the idea muscle. And he said to work, strengthen your idea muscle, all you got to do is every day try to come up with 10 ideas and write them down. So I use it, my phone and I just use an app that I can, a tracking app, and I just write down 10 ideas every single day. Some days I get many more than 10. Some days I come up short, but I try to get at least 10 ideas every single day. And the ideas do not have to be good. They don't have to be actionable. You do not have to actually enact any of your ideas. All you got to do is come up with 10 ideas a day. It doesn't have to be anything that you actually do. All right, you could come up with an idea of make a car that's in the shape of uh, a pair of Jordan sneakers. That makes no sense. You probably wouldn't do it. I don't know if that you could even scientifically make that happen, but it's an idea. And the whole purpose of working the idea muscle is to strengthen your brain. It gives your brain exercise so that every single day, if you do that over the course of 365 days times 10, that's 3,650 ideas over the course of a year. Now, let me ask you, you came up with 3,650 ideas in a year. Do you think maybe 10 of those ideas might be great for you? Do you think maybe one of those 3,650 ideas might change your life? I think it might change somebody else's life. You think that could change the trajectory of your life and where you're going? You come up with 3,650, even if you're a complete idiot, one of those ideas is going to be really good and will help you in some way, shape, or form, I would think. So that's the whole concept of the idea muscle. So all you got to do to make that work is every single day, Write down 10 ideas about anything. It could be 10 ideas for how to make more money for yourself, 10 ideas for how you could get more exercise, 10 ideas for how you could get better sleep, 10 ideas for how you can uh, get six pack abs, 10 ideas for how you can meet more friends, 10 ideas for uh, how you can stop using your phone so much so you can focus on the things that you need to be doing, 10 ideas for I don't even know. You tell me. Ten ideas for how you could possibly move and live in a, a place that you really want to live aside from the place that you live in right now. Ten ideas for how you could travel the world for a whole year and not have to spend a whole lot of money. Ten ideas for anything that you want. Now, you see, I just came up with those ten ideas off the top of my head while I'm talking to you. All you have to do is exercise the idea muscle because, listen, if you exercise your idea muscle and you start doing some of these things, here's what's going to happen. You are going to be involved in events. You're going to get invited to events. Are people going to want you to be where their events are because you're always coming up with new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing things. All right, look for ideas. And you're going to become a person. If you're a person who always has ideas, you're going to be the type of person that other people are talking about, other people are looking to, other people are listening to, other people are getting their content and their concepts from. Listen, I'm on the internet all day, every day, and I see people using stuff that I know that they've gotten from listening to me or reading me or watching me and I'm not mad at them because I know I'm the source for the things that they got and if I go away I won't be their source anymore because they won't be able to come up with it on their own but you can start learning how to do this by exercising your idea muscle so I'm gonna say it one more time and then I'm gonna take uh questions if anybody got a question small minds discuss people average minds discuss events great minds discuss ideas all right, so ask yourself, forget about the discussion with other people, but what are you discussing in your own mind? Because your thoughts are just a running conversation you're having with yourself, right? So what are you thinking about every day? Are you thinking about other people? Are you thinking about events? Are you thinking about ideas? What ways can I make things bigger, better, faster, stronger, uh, do less, do more, increase this, decrease that, fix that, change that? What are you thinking about? All right, your focus will tell you the size of your mind and the capacity you have for growth right now in your life. And you can change that any time that you want. So if you find yourself... In a small mind or average minded space, it doesn't mean you're stuck there. It just means that's where you're at right now, and now you can do something about it. Anybody who does not have this book yet, it's called The Mirror Motivation. The book is free. All you do is cover the shipping. Go to mirrorofmotivation.com. This is the first book you should read of mine. If you've never read anything of mine, I got 27 books. Read this one first so you know exactly where I'm coming from, and you get the baseline, which is the discipline. That is the baseline of the whole working your game philosophy is the self-discipline to move yourself to action when you need to be taking action. If you want to play basketball overseas, go to balloverseas.com for the overseas basketball blueprint so you can know that you have finally made the most of your potential and your talent as a basketball player, balloverseas.com. Now, anybody got a question, go ahead and post it. Dope, it's Cam, what's good? BBC said, see your DM. All right, well, if you send me one and it's worth replying to, I'll reply. But if I don't reply, it doesn't mean I didn't see it. It just means I didn't reply. <laughs> Bradley Anderson was good. Luis Madden was going on. He said, I did that for six months. In 2015, last week, I looked back at some of those ideas, and it was eye-opening. It worked. All right, that was 2015. Luis, what you been doing since then? I mean, that's five years since then times 3,650 ideas a year. You know how many ideas you 
could have by now since then. We're talking 15,000, what's up, maybe 18,000 ideas. So hopefully you start doing it again. If you stop, hopefully you start doing it again. Somebody said, would you give an example of influencers taking your content, branding it as their own content? I never said that. <laughs> Where are you getting that from? Wavy says, how do you feel about racism within the medical field? Uh, I don't feel anything because I don't know anything about it. So Wavy Ed, I don't know. You, you would have to tell me. I can't tell you. I know nothing about racism in the medical field. I'm not in the medical field. The question is, is it a bad thing to talk to yourself? You tell me. I mean, bad and good are relative. So I can't tell you if something's bad for you or good for you. Only you can decide that. Somebody said, when Drake Philosophy Volume 1 coming out? Uh, probably 2021. Probably won't be this year. Any of y'all got, don't have this book. If you already got the mirror motivation, you got the bulletproof bundle, then you want to read this one. Work on your game. Using the pro athlete mindset to dominate your game in business, force, and life. Hardcover book. When you get this book, I'm going to give you $1,200 in digital bonuses immediately to hold you over while you wait for the book to come in the mail. That's workonyourgamebook.com. You can only get that bonus when you go to workonyourgamebook.com. You cannot get that bonus anywhere else on any other platform. Even though the book is on other platforms, if you want to get the best deal with those $1,200 in digital bonuses, like eight types of people to avoid, what I would do if I was building my brand right now, those are just two of the bonuses you're going to get, and there's a bunch more, workonyourgamebook.com. So I think I answered every question. So I'm going to tell you all one more time. Small minds discuss people. Average minds discuss events. Great minds discuss ideas. So if you want to make your mind great, start thinking about ideas, focusing on ideas, making yourself better, figuring out ways to make other people better. You help other people get better. They will come to depend on you. They will come to look forward to interacting with you. And they will pay you for whatever it is that you're offering if they know they're going to get a benefit from it. Work on your game, everybody. Wait, I got one more question. Do you think veganism really have a life change your thing that sentence does not make grammatic sense but do i think i think you're just asking if veganism can be a positive thing well that would depend on the person so you had to try it and find out everybody working your game we're gonna be back out tomorrow we out